I'm out in the backyard again, and as you can see, I have another tree that's ready for uh, peaches to be picked. I actually started, and I thought I would get some video of this because I want to be able to document this for future years to see how much uh, fruit I got this year in relation to the coming years after I prune these up a little better and uh, just uh, do things in general to make the trees better. As you can see, there's uh, just a ton of peaches on here. That's what I initially caught my eye. These branches were almost hanging to the ground out here, at least on this side. And uh, I've been picking them off. I've been just pretty much putting the uh, best of the best in the basket here. The other ones I've just been putting on the ground, and I plan to uh, give those to the chickens as usual. Hey, what I tell you about eating those? I'm sorry. You can't eat those, they're bad for you. I know you don't like eating the pits, but if you do, it's bad. Okay, so you guys already saw me take all the peaches off this tree. That one's all cleared off. This one, like I said, didn't really produce anything, but this one, I'm gonna pick all the rest of these off of here and I'll show you what I come up with. This is a good angle of the tree here. Like I said, this is gonna be for me in the future as well. And you can see just how much that weighs that down. That was nicely shaped when we were going into the year and now it's kinda hanging all over the place. I'll step back and there's the tree before the peaches are picked and I'll show you what it looks like after. Well, here's what I pulled off so far. Filled up that basket pretty good. This is actually more than on the last one. You are just a little peach lover. But yeah, I still have a lot more on this tree. I picked off all the low hanging ones. You can see here uh, the ones that were in danger of breaking off some of the branches. You can see there's a good clearance between that and the ground. Now they were on the floor or on the ground before. I do have a peach pile here, which Roxy's interested in. You're gonna have to go inside. Uh, she, uh, I gave a lot of these to the chickens, but I'll give these to them tomorrow morning. I don't want them to eat too many of those in one day. So I'm gonna let these other ones on here to ripen for another uh, day or two. I kinda like to pick them when they're just starting to get kinda soft, and these ones are still a little bit hard up there. So I got the ones off that I absolutely needed to, and I'll kinda let the other ones go for a couple more days. One thing I do wanna do is go online and see what I can learn about preserving these. Maybe put them into uh, jars, and what I need to do to do that. I do have some empty jars in the basement. I just need to see what other ingredients I may need, and I'll probably have to like peel these and cut them up and stuff, but I think it'd be worth it because there's no way that we can eat this many peaches. I could basically, it's either that or just eat as many as you can and throw them away or give them away. So I like to do something to preserve these and as time goes by, like I said before, I think this is really going to be quite the little peach grove out here. So that's where we stand now. Uh, the only other tree that I still have yet to pick is this one here. And these ones are starting to look pretty good too. Yeah, these are about ready. Oh boy, yeah, I need to figure out where I'm, what I'm gonna do here. This tree is absolutely crazy. I cut this thing off at like maybe six feet last year. And that's how much it's grown. It's just gone nuts, but it's still producing peaches. See what these ones are like up here. Yeah, they're getting soft. They're about ready. If anyone wonders, I'll tell you what this is. This is a curl-free peach. And I believe this one is a Hail Haven. Let me see here. This is the one I was picking from. Hail Haven peach. So there's the two peaches, and I'm not sure if the one that I picked from this year already has a label on it. Oh yeah, it does. Let me see what that is. Golden uh, Jubilee peach. That's the ones that were in the last video. So that's what we have so far producing out here. I'm hoping to get that little tree down there producing and bring this one back to life with some fertilizer and stuff next year. But yeah, that's it for uh, for today, at least in the little peach area out here. I'm gonna take these inside and do some research on the internet on what I need to do to preserve these. I did some research online on how to can peaches and that's exactly what Cody and I did last night. I got home and we spent probably about two and a half hours canning all these peaches up. Check out our uh, take there. We ended up with 12 cans, or 12 jars, and these are quart size, so there are quite a few peaches in there. That wasn't even all of the peaches that you saw in the basket when I picked them the other day. This is still what's left of that, so you can imagine just how many of these I could actually do. I'm actually thinking about doing more because I went out this morning and I picked the majority of the other peaches that were out there, so I'm pretty much back where I started. But that's what we came up with last night. I did want to tell you that I learned uh, quite a bit about jarring peaches and it's actually pretty easy. Simply uh, boil your peaches really quickly, 
uh, I guess kind of like blanching them and then you take those and you put them into cold water and that gets the, the skins off so you peel them the best that you can and then you cut them you can cut them into halves quarters or slices we did slices then you take the slices and you put them in like a sugar and water solution oh there's one other thing you need to do this right here this stuff this helps preserve the color of the peaches so they don't turn brown you sprinkle that on the peaches before you put them in the sugar and water solution then they go from the sugar and water solution into the jars and then you pour the sugar and water solution over the over the peaches and then seal them up and then you use one of these uh, canner things here and you put them in there in the boiling water and then that pretty much kills any kind of bacteria or anything that's inside and seals them really well. So it's not a, too bad of a process, it's just kind of time consuming when it comes to the sheer number of peaches that you start out with and trying to get those all peeled and cut up and the rest of it goes pretty quickly. The uh, mix that we used was the light syrup solution, which it looks pretty uh, unanimous on all the websites we looked at. It's three cups of water to one cup sugar. So it'll give you like a light syrup. It's not going to be like super sugary and it kind of cuts down the calories too. So we ended up with 12 there and that's what I have left from that. And then I have these ones here. So I'm thinking about investing in some more quart size jars because I do have some in use from last year um, from when we were... Uh, Jar or canning other stuff like peppers last year. So they're still full, so I might need to get some more and then maybe go through these because I'd hate to waste these tons of peaches we have here. So pretty cool. Ended up with a dozen cans of peaches, and that's going to be really nice to have throughout the winter when peaches really aren't around. And, you know, we I, I'd say we probably produced about $50 or, or more worth of uh, peaches here just by cutting them up and doing this. So pretty cool.